try this question yourself when you have done it then watch the clip so here is part a so we want function of ln9 so it's e to the power one half x replaced by ln9 minus 2 so that's e to the power this half goes there so it becomes ln so square root of 9 is 3 minus 2 then e and ln cancel each other out so it's 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 part b So this is the sketch of this graph. So it's been translated two units down. So when x is equal to zero, so it's one minus two is minus one. So it's never going to touch this line. That's when y is equal to minus 2. So therefore the range y is always greater than minus 2. Part C. So we write the function e to the power half x minus 2 equal to y. Add 2 on both sides. Take the log, so we got half x is equal to ln y plus 2, so x is equal to 2 ln y plus 2. Replace x with the inverse function notation, replace the y with x, and we can't take a log of negative numbers. So the domain is all real numbers and x is greater than minus 2. And this was the range here. It becomes the domain. Part D. So we want to find G f of x. So wherever x is, this replace, replace the f function. So it's e to the power half x minus 2 all squared plus 4 e to the power half x minus 2. Then we remove the brackets, so it's e to the power x minus 4 e to the power half x plus 4, 4 e to the power half x minus 8. So these two terms cancel each other out. So we have g f of x is equal to e to the power x minus 4. E we solve GF. So that means e to the power x minus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. e to the power x is equal to 3. Take the log on both sides. So x is equal to ln 3.